Hey guys, this is SH Gaming 599 and guys we received an update and version 9.4 is here guys. The update has been done yesterday. Yeah guys, I'm so excited. Wow, this is epic. This is so epic. So let's get let's get into the uh, the good news guys. Let's go. All right, so hi everyone. I know I mentioned that the last mini update will be the last one before version 10 came out, but Version 10 has evolved to encompass some fairly significant work and changes under the hood. Because of this, the content overhaul of version 10 will require about uh, two to three months being f before being released. Okay, okay. To cover some of the time before the next major update, I will aim for a smaller con few content for smaller content updates that won't interfere with the content changes coming in version 10. Oh my God, man. What do you have store for version 10? I'm so excited about the version 10 now. <laughs> ah, so great. Okay. And details on what's included in version 10 will be shared at some point in the near future. I'm so going to read on this. Here is a running list of additional changes that are complete so far for the upcoming version 9.4 update. Nice. Okay. So blah, blah, blah. The rest is just uh, will be uh, this post will be updated every few. Weeks, so do check that. So let's go for the new content, guys. All right. So the first content, uh, it added onions, a new vegetable grown in the wild. They can also be grown in, on the plant bed using onion sprouts. Nice. So we got a new vegetable. Nice. Onion sprouts obtained by harvesting onions and can also be found in the villages while looting. Sure. Onion soup made on the stove in a pot. Add at least 100 water and one onion to the pot and let it boil. Once cooked, use a clay bowl to grab the soup. Adds plus one to your max thirst when consumed. Ooh, so we can up our thirst. How great is this? Nice, nice, nice. Clay bowl made on, on the workbench with three clay. Used to take soup out of the pot. How amazing is this guys so this is how it looks in the wild the onion uh, the onion and underneath we have the also the onion but in plant bed so this is the clay bowl nice looking good okay so here's are some of the steps how it's used in the pot how epic is this nice 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 guys I have made a small montage of uh, the onion and onion sprouts and all the good stuff let's go see that hey guys I'm trying to find some onions okay there's one wow oh my god look at this guys this is a onion the new update <laughs> so nice oh my god it blends it blends into the nature so well harvest yes and there it is guys onion nice hey guys so we are going to make some onion soup so for that i need to get myself some bowl for the for the bowl you guys can come to the itempedia resources sorry not resources others there it is clay bowl so you need three clay only a workbench this is the new item that uh, the dev just unleashed oh my god so happy Play bowl, which is nice okay so for to for the onion soup you need to come to your stove get a pot going need to add some water at least hundred at least hundred water that's what you need and then you can drop your onion where's my onion where the uh, where it is and then you can drop the onion inside and it should boil. Oh, so, okay, there we go, boiling. Nice. There we go, boiling. Nice, okay. So I guess it takes time. Oh, there we go, onion soup. Uh, there it is, guys. So then you can interact with your stove. Go to your book, uh, take a clay bowl and just grab it. There it is, guys. Uh, there it is. So notice when you eat, uh, well, when you drink this soup, uh, you will have a one plus one to your max thirst. So when you eat, you will lose the clay bowl, 
but uh, you will notice that your sta uh, sorry your thirst which is here went up from 100 to 101 that is it guys i'll bring you guys back to the main clip oh my god guys that is so epic so epic oh this is gonna be a game changer now oh my god i'm so excited now for the gameplays all right guys we got more updates so he also added a stone grinder uh, add stone uh, like the stone crate to and let this machine grind small stones automatically if you have sufficient power e key to add stone and mouse right uh, sorry right right mouse button to take the sand and fragments okay so stone will provide will give us a sand and fragment interesting i have added a way to discard all the sand press the h key and keep only the fragments for those who do not want the sand okay so press the h key if you only want to get the uh, fragments so to work this requires 100 power okay grind small stone into sand and iron fragments interesting each stone will provide 20 sand and three fragments wow it takes 25 seconds to grind each stone wow that's amazing wait wait, wait a second here so that's 50 seconds it will, it will provide us with six fragments so that's that's one iron ingot because it takes five iron fragments to transform it into an ingot this is very nice because now rather than waiting for the mineral extractor for five minutes before expecting to get an iron ore i can make these guys and have one iron ingot if you consider it five fragments each 50 seconds that is amazing wow that's a big up update right there so the build recipe for this it's uh, 12 time electrical parts six time mechanical parts 20 iron ingots and five planks okay it's a bit expensive but still it's worth it for the irons uh, oh my god irons one iron, you're gonna you're gonna not you're not going to have any issues with the irons now anymore <laughs> build these guys you get one iron ingot every minute of the game that's epic and it all requires is stone wow okay so instead of putting one stone to get one iron fragment, if you if you put it on the forge, you will get three fragments each stone. Oh wow, that's amazing. That's that's amazing. So over here you can see the crate. You see, this is the machine. So you can put the crate over here and you can just drop your stone inside and yeah, uh, the machine will take care of the rest. That's so epic. That is so epic oh my god so we got other changes as well uh we got the food changes the uh, stew mix now requires one onion to make okay so the recipe now it's one raw fish one raw meat one potato and one onion okay that's good i guess it's not that bad i mean it just added a onion uh, you can just if you get onions you can just put plant beds in your greenhouse and you're good to go so the Russian recipe changed it to one stew mix, one melon, three mushrooms, and one plastic. Okay. One melon. Not sure. Oh, okay. Whatever. I just don't know what melon has to be there for, but I mean... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. One stew mix. That's only meat. Yeah. Well, meat and potatoes and onions. I don't know why there's a melon there, but okay. <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works all right uh ration uh it will provide you with plus one max proteins plus one max carb plus max one fat for a total of 200 so when you consume a ration it will bump all of these stats wow okay all right so now the rations are worth making that's epic so that's so epic all right, so what's next? So veggie salad will provide us with the plus one vitamins when consumed to a max of 200. Awesome. Fruit salad will perish time increase from 4 to 22 hours. Nice. That's so epic. Same as for, same as for veggie salad. How awesome is this? 
Okay, so we got a few other changes. Uh, control panel component component toggle. Added by popular demand, you can toggle components that require power on and off for the con from the control panel. Change it. No more food plant spawn in winter. Okay, well, first of all, oh, oh my god, that's what? I'm sorry, I have to come back to here. Okay, so basically you can uh, toggle some of the component, like you see over here. You can turn the components on and on or off depending on uh, what you want. So you can turn off the light if you, for example, you have light, but you have you don't have enough power for uh, your water house, for example. So you can just turn off your lights and all the power will be will go to your water house. At least that's what I'm expecting. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but change. No more food plants spawn in winter. Wow. Wow, that's a game changer right there. So you have to prepare yourself for winter now, guys. Yep, get re get yourself ready with some plant beds in the, in the warmer months. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You will need it. Oh, yeah, you will need it. <laughs> that's so epic. <laughs> that's actually a game changer right there. So you must prepare yourself before getting to winter. That's uh, okay. That's very interesting. I, I'm really, I'm really excited to see this in gameplay. Map marker for the lock card. Oh, that's one of the f the best updates. Nice. Just a plain red circle to identify the card location. That's so epic. Even if it's a red dot, I don't care. It does help a lot. Take all button on chest and extractions, extractors. <gasps> That's one epic update right there, guys. Yes, you, there's a button on the chest and the extractor, so you can just click on it and it will take everything. Oh my god, it will tr basically transfer everything from the chest or extractors to your in current inventory. That's so epic! But, what if, now I'm curious, what if there's you don't have enough place, but you try to take all of and press on take all what's that gonna do well what i'm expecting is just to transfer everything that you can and leave the remain to in the into the chest i have to test that some have requested a way to remove any held weapon so press the zero i assume this is zero or oh i'm not sure will now remove it okay interesting okay that's cool so here we see the uh the panel turning on and off the control panel so you can turn your lights on and off ah oh, this is it this is the red dot right here guys this is the red dot it will tell you where your cart is i'm wondering if you build another cart will it tell you that's another thing that i need to test out hmm interesting okay so ah uh, this is ah uh, there it is there it is take all button so you will transfer everything onto your backpack nice 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 okay so bug fixes there's uh, bug fixes lock card disappearing at cave entrance okay clicking the ok button of the u setting ui was not closing it okay saving and reloading a file during a horde event will cancel the event nice so that's fixed i guess assume now that if you save on a horde event and you leave and you come back the event is still on Dropping used broken cloth on the ground and reloading the game will result in their durability being restored. I didn't even know that this was a this was a thing in the game. <laughs> like if you drop the uh, your cloth on the ground and their durability is gone, they will restore. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Damn it! Should have known. Uh, it's okay. That is it guys, this is version 9.4. I'm so excited about this. Guys, hey guys, I, we have just received another update. I was making my video for the 9.4, but the dev just dropped us another update. Some hot fixes, version 9.5 guys. So hi everyone, just a few hot fixes. Have a great day. So there's uh, bug fixes, onion soup mix will sometimes not boil and turn into onion soup, okay? Could not add clean water to the pot in order to make onion soup. Okay. So I guess previously you only you were only able to make onion soup with uh, dirty water, I suppose. Toggling the stone grinder on and off would sometimes result in power usage math errors. Okay. 
This would cause the power out in the control panel to be wrong. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So when you turn on and off the grinder, uh, I suppose there's some math errors, errors on the control panel. Okay. Onions were spawning in the winter. Okay. All foods plants were spawning in winter only gameplay. Okay. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Everything is fixed now. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you're new, do subscribe to the channel. It does help me a lot to make these videos for you guys. This is Asage Gaming 599, and I will see you guys next time.